Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Michael Hurdle from RawGamePlay.com. And this is Sean F. of RawGamePlay.com. Well, the only thing we like raw is our, our video, video gameplay. Game play. That's right, son. And today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 13. We personally played it for the Xbox 360 yes, because did, yeah. Xbox 360 is very popular. It's a role-playing game. Yes, yes, it right? is a role-playing game. Let's get straight to the point. Sean, you, honestly, I'm not going to lie to all y'all, you got way further than me. Yes. You're, 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 you're up to the middle of, well, actually... He already ended it, but I'm just going to say you into the middle of this three. We already know how the ending is, but he don't want to ruin it for nobody. Give us some information as far as, let's start off with the storyline of the game. Well, you know, Final Fantasy 13, you know, it's an RPG game. And basically the storyline is, you know, it's like five people on an adventure. And basically the, the adventure that they're on is they go to, they're on a mission to save their CD called Cocoon. Mm -hmm. But as they're going in the beginning of the, of the, of the game, you know they have this thing called Far C, which and that Far C put those magic. Now because of that magic in the beginning of you know the story, um, the people in Cocoon is afraid of them because they they feel that the magic gonna hurt them. But you know that's that's the story. And as you go along the game, you know you find out more about the game because I don't want to spoil it for your guys. Right, you know right, right. Saying? You want to spoil it for in everybody. Fa in, in fact, um, the the storyline. If you if you if your Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy fans out there that play Final Fantasy VI, the storyline is basically the same, similar to Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VI. So because you you get an idea you because you play Final Fantasy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all out there. Never played any of the Final Fantasies. Jumped right into this one. Yeah. So I'm not really familiar with Final Fantasy. And plus, see the best thing about what I like about you and I here on the mic today is because you are a role playing guy. Yes. Yes, I am. I. I don't play role playing games. I don't like the fact that you gotta walk over to the like for instance when you about to battle somebody, right? Yeah. I'm used to <laughs> this one. You, you go <laughs> the screen freezes yeah. and it goes boom boom yeah. boom 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 <laughs> boom 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 boom. See, and you, you gotta you gotta get hit points. Yeah, it's yeah. like the only game I know that you level up that I played as far as an RPG game is like Borderlands. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. level up. So you see, you gotta level up, take up points. It gives you a tutorial in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, on, it, in the game, in the, in the beginning of Final Fantasy mm -hmm. 13. It starts you off real slow and simple. Just for you guys like me who don't play role playing games. Yes. It asks you if you want to skip it or if you don't want to skip it. And for your first time Final Fantasy players, if you, especially 13, I advise you not to skip it. Don't skip that. Don't skip it because, especially in, as you're going on in the game, like I said, they're going to start you off slow, but then as the game goes on, the battle system will be complex. It will. It will be real complex because when I, the, the, cause I got to a point now where. Now, instead of pushing auto, yeah. you actually have to choose now. Yes. And you have to make sure you pick your... You, like, for instance, you can't just choose auto throughout the whole game. You yeah. actually have to know what you're choosing. Yeah. Keep track of your points because you can lose if the person takes more points away from you than you have left over. You can heal yourself. They give you certain... Like different uh, potions, uh, uh, potions and abilities. abilities to heal yourself. This is a real true RPG game. And honestly, like I said before, Sean, I'm not really into RPGs. <laughs> so I found it very strange. Yeah. yeah but you RPG yeah. lovers is gonna love it. I mean, you. Yeah. I mean, hey, as far as like um, as far as the controls go, how the controls work. I mean, tell them about the controls. Sean. Well, the controls, you know, typical RPG style. You know, you got your Y button, which is the menu button, right. mm -hmm. status, items. Um, you know, level up. You know. Um, you know, leveling up the stuff, you know, stuff like that. And you got, you know, the um, um, the the level ups. The now here's the thing I tell you guys. Mm -hmm. The leveling up in this game is is different from the other from other RPGs. I, I should say. Matter like fact, how different? Like how what makes it different? Okay, when you let's, let's say you're in a battle, right? Mm -hmm. And um, after you finish fighting the, the enemies or whatever, and whatever, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you don't get experience points. What you get is crystal points okay okay those crystal points right is to use to level up your uh your your magic like if you press y as you can see if you could press y you, you will see this item called cr crystalism mm -hmm. it's crystal something and as you you know going that it's like a tree you gotta develop right we got magic strength um you know um um special special powers you y'all get the idea so Basically, you got to mm -hmm. fill up the whole tree, and once you fill up that tree, man, you get stronger and stronger. So my man gets it in. So basically, the level up system is, is is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's decent. It's, you know, it's I, decent. I, I level. You know, the thing about it is, like I said before, once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, I'm not an RPG guy, <laughs> and it, it sucked me into it. What sucked me into it more is the visuals. Yeah. 
the visuals i mean this game the visuals are so great or aka graphics it looks so good i mean look at it's crisp oh, the, the title crispy. starts off right i mean it's just like you're in a fantasy where it almost reminds me of a little bit between star wars and and like zelda and a whole star ocean maybe star ocean even avatar, yeah, avatar even yeah. uh, even uh what's that, that that movie coming out is that avatar is it avatar no but we'll let us move on we'll but it looks good yeah the graphics are really good they did a really good job when it comes to the graphics cancer stunning visuals stunning. and for your p3 lovers i, I know <laughs> y'all gonna say the graphics for, for p3 is way better but for xbox 360 game for this graphics can't beat that. Now you know what? I did not buy this game for the P th for the P three. I bought it for the Xbox, right? Because you know this is three discs that yeah, we had to that discs, we had yeah. to get. Now I wonder for the P for the PS three. Is it three discs or is it one disc? It's one disc. Oh, and, 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 and the reason, <laughs> you see, and, 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 and that reason because you know P three got mostly Blu ray. Mm -hmm. Blue, so Blu ray holds more than a regular CD. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's one disc. That's the only thing you see, and that's one disc. You have to keep popping in disc too, because you're you 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 know it says popping disc one, like like almost like a uh, Mass Effect. You got to pop it in a different disc. So you, yo Xbox, y'all, y'all need to up y'all game, man. Yo side with Sony, get yourself some Blu ray players, so you guys don't have to worry about spending three discs, man. Word, on man, one word. game, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word. I mean, yeah, all right, we did we did the visuals, we did the controls, the the, uh, the, the storyline is good. Just just as a quick. 30 second summary, what do you want to tell people about Final Fantasy 13? Well, Final Fantasy 13 is a good game. Um, I think people, especially Final Fantasy fans, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I know one that's especially a Final Fantasy fan, he like it. So if you're a Final Fantasy fan or RPG fan, period, mm -hmm. buy this game. Definitely. You Definitely were talking to your game. mans earlier, he was telling you about a level or a board or something like that. Remember, um, you 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 were, you were asking about a certain level or what you have to do a certain level. I'm sure people might want to hear about that. Oh well, with, with this, well, it's not really the, the level like mm -hmm. in the battle system. Mm -hmm. I was just asking him the battle system. Mm -hmm. Um, here's a, here's a little tip. I was asking him the battle system. You know, when you, when you fight your people, um, you got to shift, shift. It's like it's like driving a car. When you driving a, a stick shift car, you gotta put in. You know you can't put in first gear, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, forever. So when you, you know, when you, as you drive, you gotta switch to second gear, third gear. So in this game, you know, as the game go on, I was asking my friend. As the game go on, you know, um, he was telling me, you know, um, when you fighting, you gotta shift, you know, cause they got different shifts like war, piece of war, um, um. Um, piece, piece of war, soldier, mm -hmm. and them them type of shifts do special ability. So, y'all people will see where y'all play the game. It's like driving the car. As you play the game, mm -hmm. it's like driving the stick shift car where you play the where you play the um the game. Sean, the I'm system. highly impressed with you, yes. man. You are fly, son. Yes. You play that game. You took a lot off of me because I, I I had a lot to talk <laughs> about, but you summary it all up. So as far as renting it, buying it, or forget about it, what you say, dude? Like I said, <clears throat> buy it. If you're a fan, uh, matter of fact, if you're an RPG fan. Buy you it. should get this game. I would say buy the game too. Even though I'm not an RPG fan, it actually sucked me in and it actually helped me become an RPG fan because it helped me out. I so, said, you know what? You're not an RPG fan? Let me hold your hand. Come here. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. You want to hold your hand? No, you want to jump? Push jump? No, you know what? We're going to make it auto for you. Let's auto. Let's auto fire. Yes. All right, yes. good. All right, just to let you know that. Buy the game, Final Fantasy 13, definitely. Just want to say something real quick. Um,. Of course, Raw Gameplay and Owns is having our Street Fighter 4 monthly beatdown 11, dog. That's uh, March 26, 2010. Cash prizes are available. Like I said before, bring it in because officially this may be our last Street Fighter 4 monthly beatdown. Not not in general, but just because of um, Super Street Fighter 4 coming out. Yeah. So come out. If you're going to get some money, you better get it now because you know when Super Street Fighter 4 come out, there's going to be a whole bunch of different tiers. There's going to be a whole bunch of different oh, people gonna, playing. Oh, we're going to get it in. Street so, yeah, better come out for this last Street Fighter 4 monthly beatdown, Super, a regular Street Fighter. It might be Super Street Fighter 4. We're working on that right now. But remember, guys, Raw Gameplay is your number one source for video game news, podcasts, video gameplay information from two regular guys and more with Corey. We love you. you look, that, I love you, Corey. That, right, man. You my that, man right there, That man. played the game, <laughs> give you our opinion on it, and we hope you respect it. Once again, I'm one of your hosts, Michael C. Hurdle, Xbox 360 Gamer Tag, Raw Gameplay. John F, Xbox 360, Tampa Bay, with T A M P A Y B A Y 2005. That's right, baby. We'll talk to you guys real soon, and thanks for watching the show. Good job, Sean, man. You're going to see more of this, dude. Oh, Remember, yes. we're going to be at uh, PAX, so y'all better get ready, boy. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace.